Hi there, Lindsay here, the Frugal Crafter, and it's time for another Craftmas video. And this week, I am teaming up with Sarah from So Craftastic, a wonderful YouTube channel. I love it because it is family friendly and perfect for all ages. And my daughters love her stuff. I love her projects too. They're so fun. Lots of duct tape, polymer clay, and other wonderful crafts. And a lot of her crafts aren't really going to cost you much, so it's very, very frugal. She's going to duct tape craft for you on her channel today, and I'm going to share how to make this duct tape trash bag that's meant for the car so you can hang it up in your car to catch uh, tissues and gum wrappers and all that stuff that clutters up your car. It's also great if you are a sewer or you're trying to make something for somebody who sews or scrapbooks because you can hang it on the side of your desk and then you can put your trash into it and then empty it into your larger waste bin after you're done. So it's a totally useful project that I think anybody would love to get. So let's go down to the craft table and I'll show you how it's done. For this project, you will need some duct tape, and these are the rolls I picked up at the Dollar Tree a couple weeks ago in their Christmas section. I just loved it, five yard rolls for a dollar. You're gonna need an X-Acto knife, scissors, and a tarp, and I also got the tarp at the Dollar Tree quite a while ago, and I just keep cutting off pieces for it for different projects. Cut a piece of tarp that is eight inches by 22 inches. I'm working on a cutting mat with gridded lines to make sure I get a nice straight cut. Fold the tarp in half and then in half again. The fold is at the bottom. Then you're going to be making a cut next to the open edge near the bottom fold and this is going to make the bottom of the bag. So what you want to do is kind of cut up from the corner and we're making kind of a roundish, it's like a rounded square bag and then you want to cut in from the edge and that's about an inch and a half up from that fold. Cut that notch out and discard it. Now when you open the bag, you'll see you have a perfectly symmetrical design. That part in the middle is going to be the bottom of the bag, and on each side would be the front and back of the bag. Now it's time to cover our bag with duct tape. The first section of the bag we're going to be covering will be the back of the bag. So it's a great place to start and get used to this process. What you want to do is just simply cover the tarp without any overhang on this first rectangular section. You can practice measuring up and lining up your pattern as you go. So these polka dots are pretty easy to line up. I just try to overlap the next strip and try to overlap the dots where they meet so that I get that nice seamless pattern. But it's not a big deal if you um, are off a little bit. I wouldn't try yanking the tape back off. Just keep on going. This is going to be in the back and it's not going to be seen. You want to keep on in this fashion until you get to the center of the bag. When you get to the middle of your tarp, which will actually be the bottom of your bag, you want to overlap it, and the overlap will actually be used to secure the flaps on the bottom to the edge of the finished bag. But don't worry if it seems kind of awkward and sticky to use. You can always trim that part off later and add another piece of tape if it's too awkward. But you might be able to do it in one fell swoop, so go ahead and overlap for this. Now, to do the remainder of the bag, you are going to stick the strips down in the same fashion, except you're going to leave about an inch overlap on each side of the bag because the tape is what's going to adhere the bag together. If we let it overhang a bit on this portion of the bag, then we won't have to add any additional tape later. Now flip the bag over and trim off any extra tape that is hanging over on that first portion of the bag that we were covering with tape, the part that we called the back of the bag. You want to remove that so you don't see any of that white adhesive. Now cut a slit where the front of the bag meets the bottom and then cut little notches out from the middle of the bottom of the bag. So these little tabs will be what we connect the bottom of the bag to our sides of the bag with. Repeat on the other side the same way we did the first side. Now here's where it gets a bit tricky. You're going to roll up the sides of the bag into a tube and then you're going to overlap it so the front of the bag where it has the extra sticky strips wraps around and adheres to the back of the bag. So you basically have a big cylinder with the flaps of the bottom of the bag just kind of sticking out. And I used a little nonstick baking mat there to set over my strips as I worked. But if they get tangled up like that strip did there, you can always trim them off and use another piece of tape to seal it shut. Then just fold up the edges and press them down to secure. If the tape is too unwieldy, you can simply trim off the extra sticky bits and then use a flat piece of duct tape right off the roll to secure it down. Really, there's no way to mess it up. Now that the basic structure is done, it's time to decorate. I'm using a piece of chevron duct tape and I'm actually working right off the roll so I don't have to trim and waste. And I'm going around the top of the bag, um, leaving probably about three quarters of an inch hanging over the end. As soon as I get it all the way around with just a little bit of overlap, I'm going to trim it. Then fold in that cuff of duct tape to give it a strong top edge. 
Then, being careful to line up that chevron pattern, lay down another strip of duct tape overlapping what you already put down. You don't want it to go over the top of the cuff though. You just want it to be kind of um, putting an even strip around the entire top of the bag. To make the handle, cut two 16 inch pieces of your main color duct tape. Then I'm dipping my fingers in some water so that I can handle the duct tape without it getting stuck to my fingers. That is so annoying. And then I'm gonna flip over one strip of duct tape. See, since my fingers are wet, I can roll them right off the edge there and it's really not as sticky as it could be. And then I'm picking up the second strip and I'm gonna lay it on top of the first strip, letting it overhang by about a half an inch. Then you're simply gonna fold over the sticky edge onto itself, and that's gonna give you a double thick, actually triple thick section in some areas. It's gonna make for a really strong strap and it's gonna look nice and finished because you don't have any raw sticky edges. To attach the handle, you're gonna need a four inch piece of duct tape, the same pattern as what you used for the top cuff. Then you want to fold your strip that you just made, kind of awareness ribbon style, and hold it up against the cuff. And with your other hand, pick up the extra piece of duct tape you just cut and place it down over the ends. Just press it down really well and that will secure your holder to the bag seamlessly. You can leave the bag as is, but I always find it fun to kind of embellish a little bit. And I thought I might use a little green duct tape and make some holly leaves, but I didn't have any plain green duct tape and this pattern was just a little too bold and busy on top of the other patterns I chose. So instead of doing the holly leaves, I decided I would just wrap a simple strip of grosgrain ribbon, hot glue it down to the bag, and then add some thin strips of gold duct tape to create Santa Claus's buckle. I think it looks really cute, but let's see if it works in my car. Okay, we're in my car and by the looks of things I totally need this trash bag so what I'm gonna do is just hang it here on my shifting column I don't think it's heavy enough to really bother anything here and I'm gonna start filling it up with trash and then my cup holders can actually be used for holding cups is that amazing or what I want to thank you so much for watching today and make sure you go check out Sarah's video at so craftastic I'll have a link in the video description and let's go see what she made with duct tape thank you so much for watching until next time happy crafting